Hi there, sweethearts. So, first, sorry for the weird, um, like, angle that the camera is in. Unfortunately, my nephews broke part of my tripod, and now it my camera is in a really bad situation. So, it actually at any minute it can just f fall off. Hopefully it won't happen. So I'm actually quite sick, so my voice sounds weird. And probably I will have to cut a lot of the times um, this video because I will just start coughing out of nowhere. So today I actually want to talk about a um, story, like a uh, urban legend that I actually kind of, I actually grew with this story, but um, I didn't know much about it. Now, there is quite a hype about this story um, because it has become a very famous internationally urban legend and now there's even going to be a movie about it but it's not an urban legend that belongs to only one country there are different versions now I'm not aware about any other Hispanic countries but I'm just going to tell you the version from where I'm from and um, kind of compare a little bit with the maybe original story that is the Mexican version but I'm not sure if it is the original but that's the one that everyone knows now so first let's briefly touch on the story um, that comes from Mexico so I guess by now and if you see the title you know what I'm talking about so I'm talking about La Llorona and La Llorona is a urban legend that it's very famous now and everyone knows comes from Mexico so about a woman that had two kids and um, her husband now there is a quite a few variations on the story there is one variation that says that the husband was cheating on her with another woman that was younger and she out of anger towards her husband she ended up taking her children to the forest or yeah to the river and drowned them and then when she realized what she done she drowned herself and then now her spirit wanders around and asks for her children. There is another variation that says that she was a very jealous woman and she was actually jealous of her children because her husband will spend more time with the children than with her and out of jealousy she ends up drown, drowning her children and then again she realizes what she does and her husband I think also asks like where are the children and then she ends up drowning herself so and I think there might be a different variations but those ones I think are the ones that are more popular and the ones that everyone really talks about um, not sure what is the version that the film is going to go with now I'm actually really um, excited about the film uh, i think it will be really interesting i like james wong i like what he has done with the conjuring and with insidious so i think and i hope that it will take a good um it will be a good movie and story okay so i'm recording this again because my first telling it's really bad so on my country i'm come from chile and in chile we have a different version it's still quite tragic but it's quite different from the mexican version so the story that we have is about this young beautiful woman who ends up being pregnant um the, now we don't have much information about who the dad is or oh, who is this man that she falls in love with and uh, it's the father of her son but the only thing that we know is that he is not someone that she was actually meant to be with in a moral way and her, their love is pretty much forbidden 
Now, he never appears really on the story of how she becomes La Llorona. Um, we just know that she has ends up being pregnant from him, and that's it. Now, what happens? She loses her baby. And in the hospital, she is never given the body of her baby. And she never knows what happened with the body, if it was buried or if it was burnt. And yeah, so very tragic. So imagine you give birth, but the baby, unfortunately, it's not alive. And you are not given any moment or last moment with that baby of yours. Then that took her into madness. So she was very, very sad. And she was just got in herself like in a mental state that she just couldn't take it anymore. So she ends up being taken to a mental institution where she pretty much spent all her life grieving her child and asking for her child and crying for her child years and years she manages to escape the mental institu the mental institution and wanders ab around the road now please mental note in i don't know in other countries but i think it might be common that mental institutions are not really in the city they're really really far away from the city so they're usually from a distance from a highway so imagine this poor woman wandering with maybe those bathrobes, no, with those robes from a hospital and just wandering around, probably with no shoes, um, in a very bad state and crying and wondering where is her baby. And then she dies. We don't know much detail about how she dies, but she dies and her grave um, she's buried in a nameless grave, so because probably no one knows her name, or uh, no one knew her name, so she's buried somewhere um, in a grave that has no name. Now, it is said that usually you will hear her weeping, you will hear her crying, um, usually on the road, uh, on a highway, but they say you, they can also, you can also hear her on a city, uh, maybe on the street, and she will always be crying and wondering where her baby is. Now, it usually happens that a lot of truck drivers will find a woman in the road and they will actually um, like give her a lift or maybe stop and ask her to come in. And she will actually come in and be like the companion of the drivers for a while and she will ask about her baby and um, and then after a while she will completely disappear and that's kind of like a regular story between like people have heard truck drivers or that you heard in school um, but yeah and just wonder what, what else there's not much about the story it's not much detail as probably like the mexican version now funny enough i think and i'm not a hundred percent sure but i think at the very south of my country the version of la llorona is very similar to the mexican version but i'm not a hundred percent um now the thing with la llorona in my country is that she's not bounded to one specific place she's just bounded to death in general and she is anywhere so i don't know if that makes really sense but like i'm from the capital and in the capital we will know about la llorona and we will say that uh, for example you will say the probably you we will hear the stories about La Llorona being heard um, near hospitals or near certain streets. People will say that they will hear La Llorona 
and then of course then other cities will have their own story and people will say that they will hear La Llorona or that you can find her maybe near the forest and um, and there are like certain variations within our same country but pretty much the story is the same it's just a woman that lost her child and um, was like you never knew the whereabouts of her child and she just it's very sad and uh, and has so much sadness that turned her into lunacy and then she just dies being completely unknown and just becomes a ghost so that's pretty much the story that's the story of La Llorona Chilean version nothing exciting but quite sad at the same time um, I want to actually do more stories like this uh, like story time just telling you about urban legends and myths um, of my country there are actually quite a few stories who are very religious but at the same time very um, what's the word um, we do have a lot of like ghost stories and urban legends around my country and um, some of them are very interesting and I think on the south they are very very interesting actually because it's like it's very mythological and very fantasy like while in the central part there is more about maybe people that used to be alive and now they're just fanciful ghosts and then on the north is uh, we have actually like ghost towns and there are little stories about like the mines and like 40s time 90s 40s um that i think is really interesting so i hope you are interested in this type of thing because even though i thought about asking let me know if you're interested i think i will actually just have like certain videos that i will speak about um, urban legends and myths of my country because I think it's just very interesting I think a lot of people know about some myths uh, I think Japanese myths and legends are very famous and they're actually really interesting too but and then we hear like about Mexican legends which are very cool indeed but there's not much about other countries and I would like to put my country in the list and just kind of give a little bit of I don't know <laughs> time or just so people know that there are really cool stories around the world too um some the, the south what am i saying i also want to maybe talk more about other myths and legends or urban legends that are from other side of the world that i have found very interesting japanese um yokais and maybe like um, kamis and I don't know things that probably I might be touching on other stories that have been mentioned before on YouTube but I will try to make it a little bit more interesting or just give more detail or try to find more information that it hasn't been told before maybe maybe not um, but yeah I want to focus more on that and also try to continue with my own personal stories into the paranormal and uh, and share it with you guys anyway I hope you have enjoyed this video um, sorry that I just mumble everywhere and sorry I really didn't make the story very very interesting I'm actually really bad at storytelling probably you can notice by now but yeah hope you enjoy it and see you next time bye